Hello and happy Sunday. I hope you've had an amazing weekend so far and you have found some time to enjoy some champagne. So if you haven't, have a glass with me now or watch me have a glass. So today I wanted to introduce you to our new producer and going to go to the complete opposite end of the spectrum that we did last week. So if you remember last week we looked at a vintage rosé champagne from a really big producer, Verve Clicquot. So this week, completely different wine, we are going to be looking at a non-vintage, blanc de blanc, extra brut from a small grower champagne. So the grower champagne that we're introducing today is Vazar Kukar et Fils, and they are based in the village of Chouy, which is in the Côte Blanc. So now we're talking Chardonnay heartland. Hence why we're having a Blanc de Blanc. So this particular producer has um, only got 11 hectares of vines and of them 95% of their grapes are Chardonnay and just a teeny tiny 5% are Pinot Noir. So the region's really well known for Chardonnay and this producer um, ex is an expert and specialises in, in Chardonnay. So just deconstructing this a little bit, we've got a few terms there, Chardonnay, 100% Chardonnay, uh, Blanc de Blanc Champagne. Um, I also also said it's a non-vintage champagne so that means that the champagne is a blend of different years or different vintages in this case um, it's a uh, 2008 is the base year and the reserve wine blend is 25% um, and they actually use the Solera technique. And I actually don't think I've specifically got a blog post on this yet, so I'll have to put that on my to-do list. So Solera technique, just to explain, is a way of blending reserve wines into, a cham into champagne. And in effect, what they do is imagine an enormous tank. You can't quite see my hands, but you've got an enormous tank. Every year when you want to remove reserve wines, you take that wine out and then you top it back up with champagne from that year. So you end up with this perpetual blend of multiple multiple years and for this particular producer their Solera technique or their Solera blend goes back to 1982 so in this 25% of it is from that really potentially a lot of really old um, age wines which makes it really really interesting so one of the other factors about this champagne that was different to last week is it's extra brut. So last week we had a brut champagne, um, which is anywhere up to 12 grams per litre of dosage or sugar that's added. And that's standardly what we drink in your, your basic champagne. So then you have a zero dosage, which is usually between zero and two grams per litre. And then this is extra brut, which sits between zero and six grams. So this particular champagne is um, three grams per Liter, so it's very very dry. Um, I love a dry champagne because it is it really just lets the flavor of the champagne and the grapes and the terroir express itself. Sometimes adding sugar you tend to taste the sugar and the sweetness more than the actual wine itself. So for me, this is just a gorgeous champagne to be drinking on a day like today in Brisbane where it's only spring, but this week we've been like 34, 35 degrees. So I mean hot. So Blanc de Blanc, you've got, it's fresh, it's crisp. Smelling it now and it's been sitting in my glass opening up for a little while as well. So you've really got that freshness, that citrusy, and even smelling it, I can get that chalkiness that comes through from any of the champagnes that are from the Cote Blanc, where they're underpinned, the soil is underpinned by, by chalky limestone substrate, which comes out in the flavours of the champagne. So, and again, being extra brute, it keeps it really, really dry, gorgeous on a super hot summer day. Um, you know, oysters, have it with some fresh seafood as an aperitif, absolutely beautiful. So, you know, you can get really fancy about the different, you know, flavors and smells that you get. And right now, I actually think I'm smelling a little hint of flowers, but also it's spring here and I've got the window open because it's so hot. So, you know, when you've got f smells in the air around you, they actually will come across in the champagne, but certainly it's fresh, it's very citrusy, gorgeous streak of um, lemon, and definitely to taste. really sensing um, that dryness come through and the chalkiness um, and again just fresh and beautiful. So this particular champagne, they only make um, 3,000 bottles of this particular blend um, every year so it's very rare, it's um, very exciting to get your hands on it. 
I think in Australia it retails for about $85, I'm going to say off the top of my head, and you're really only going to be able to get it from specialist producers. So I got mine from David Donald Champagnes, and I will put a link in the email that um, email below, and you can go and check out if you're in Australia, see his full range, because he, he, he imports and sells super sexy, super exciting um, small producers. So I haven't actually um, been to um, Bazaar Kokar, and I haven't actually met the winemaker, but they're going to be on my to-do list for my next trip um, because I'm super excited about um, what I've tried here today and I can't wait to taste more. So please reply to the email. Um, tell me what you've enjoyed this weekend um, and let me know if there's any questions that you have about this champagne or any others. I'd love to help you out. For now, santé.